Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to RimWorld. So we updated to Alpha 17 today, and so we've got a brand new crop of individuals. It wouldn't let me load my previous save on the current edition, so that wasn't something I can do. But we do have some fun stuff that we can check out here today. Uh, we got new stuff like, I think we've got the intellectual pursuit, so there's a new stat on all of the characters, which is like, how good they are at like, deducing and coming up with solutions to problems. I mean, there's a bunch of new stuff to play around with, so I figured we'd keep on playing. So this is technically episode 3, but at the same time, it's like episode 1, because it wouldn't let me load my save. Either way, when I get it all arranged up into, like, random locations in the playlist, or I guess an organized... Ooh, we've got a warg named Sport. What's up, Sport? A female warg. Yeah, train train her to do uh, combat and hauling and everything else. Do your thing. Throw all that on there. we got a couple of characters right now that are doing pretty well. We'll go ahead and take a look at each one. We've got Ichabod Richmond. That's a dope name, dude. That's a name for the guy that you know is a gunslinger. They call me Ichabod Richmond, bounty hunter. <laughs> He's got to fan the hammer a little bit. Uh, he's iron willed and abrasive. Uh, we've also got Sunny over here. It's always Sunny, Boris De La Rue, who is going to be our ascetic. And then we've got uh, Teddy over here, Eric Teddy Smith, who is a jealous fast walker. But pretty much everybody in our group is in solid shape. I, I like the group that we have right now. So you guys go ahead and grab some rifles and some pistols real quick to keep yourself all nice and taken care of. Uh, he would pick up a knife, but he's too busy vomiting out his guts. Fantastic. Well, I've set up people here. I need to do the work list and everything, so I'm just going to let this run while we do that. Uh, we've already done a lot of this work in previous episodes. It's unfortunate, but I seem to have very bad timing when it comes to releasing series on stuff like this. I just... I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know why I struggle so much with timing things properly. But it looks to me as though... We'll go with growing right there. We got mining on this side. Everybody will take mining, plant cutting... Okay, I mean, we could use somebody that's good at crafting. I think that's one of the few things that we're missing right now, but if we can get somebody lined up to where they're better at crafting, uh, we'll probably get some stuff in here. I've got Randy Random on the same difficulty as before, so we're basically doing the same stuff that we've been doing so far. Uh, we are going to want to get a structure taken care of over here, and unfortunately, we live in a swamp. So you can call us the Shrexes, unfortunately. Welcome the Shrexes to the neighborhood, because we unfortunately... Oh, we've got marble flagstone over here that we can do now, too. There's a couple of new things they've added, and they've got tiles. Pretty sweet, actually. Cool. I'm excited to play this new version. We're going to see what happens out here. we got a little bit of rain. Here comes the rain. Making everything a little bit easier. We're going to zone up and do some growing zones down in here. I'll probably do my best to drain that swamp in just the next little bit, because I don't want people to get, like, swamp diseases or anything like that. Delete that zone real fast. It bothers me when my zones are not. I like it when my zones are somewhat, oh, I don't know, symmetrical. And so what I'm going to do in here is we'll call these, like, strawberry plants. We'll call these potato plants. That's fine. Those two can be potatoes. We'll call this one uh, cotton because we're going to need to be able to craft some food. We'll call that one heel root. We do have somebody who's capable of doing heel root, and we need one more for our growing zone. Over here, we're going to grow ourselves some weed, some Mary Jane, some marijuana, and that's going to be our smoke leaf plant over there because it sells very well. I find that if I can keep like 400 or 500 smoke leaf around, you can sell it every time a trader comes through for like, oh, I don't know, in the realm of like 400, 500 silver. You can get paid out pretty well for that stuff. The roof has gone in. Very nice. The roof, the roof, the roof is not on fire. We don't need no water because ain't nothing burning right now. We'll go ahead and drop that on in. As far as other stuff goes, hopefully they'll finish off that field in just a moment. I got everything on maximum speed because I'm trying to get back up to where we were in our previous playthrough. As far as restrictions go, I think that I'm all right with the general schedule right now. I'm going to go ahead and give them some joy time right there. We'll go ahead and call that work, and then we're going to copy that over to everybody else so that it's nice and done. We don't have anybody that needs to only do work at night. We don't have anybody that's a night owl at the moment, so... Hopefully this will work out pretty well. I think Alpha 17 is going to be a lot of fun. There's some new stuff that we have to learn here. Uh, there's some new things that they've added to the game. And frankly, I haven't played in about a year to six months. And so adding in new stuff is always really fun to me. It's kind of a bummer because my stream playthrough was going really well. And now I've got to re-roll it. But it's all right. You got to live with change when you're a YouTuber. You can't get jammed up on stuff like that. Otherwise, you just constantly be frustrated and irritated. So welcome back to the Rim World. I think this is going to be a really good playthrough. This is going to be updated sporadically. It's not going to be one of those things that I update every single day. It'll probably be more like once a week we'll do like a longer episode, a longish episode of me playing RimWorld. It's not super popular on the channel. It's not one of those things that people are like clamoring for or begging for. But on the opposite end, it is a game that I personally very much like. I like this game a lot. I have my little complaints and my little foibles with it. But
But by and large, you can fix most of those with mods. You can fix most of those with, like, other random little things. What I would prefer to do is let's just chop down this entire forest around our base. There's not a lot of work to be done, and... As far as I understand it, everybody in our group should be able to accomplish all the tasks we want them to get done. Uh, it's 3 in the morning right now, waiting for people to wake on up. Uh, we've got a minor break risk already. That's a bummer. So what we'll want to do here today is we'll actually want to set up a horseshoe pin so that we can offset that slightly. So there we go. I know people are going to be bummed out. we got a couple of people that have like weak mental thresholds in this group, and it's going to be something that they are going to struggle with over the long term. However... We'll be all right. We just got to stick with it. What is this? Shallow water and then deep water over there. Okay, sounds good to me. As soon as the fields are planted, we'll start working on new projects and trying to get new stuff done. I'm going to try and get everything done today that we had already concluded previously. I'm not going to be able to drain that swamp right now, so that's a little bit of a bummer. Let's get started off with our indoor storeroom. So we'll go something like this right here. Looks good to me. Minor break risk is doing its thing. We also have a colonist who needs treatment. Uh, what's wrong with Teddy? What's going on with him? Does he have, like, a drug addiction or something? He has an awful barrack eight without a table with his health. Oh, he's got trivial malnutrition, then he's also got asthma. Okay, so he'll need some help as time goes along, but we'll probably want to make a medical bed in here, just in case. This is going to be kind of a Jimmy rigged solution for right now. This is not going to be a permanent solution. This is just something that, like, needs to get done. We'll call that a door right there. So that it's all ready to go. We're going to make this the stockpile for all of our concluded goods. As far as our floors go, I'm going to stick with the simple stuff. We'll put in wood plank flooring. Should be able to get that done pretty quickly. Shouldn't take too long. The roof's already in, so that's nice. There are some trees and things that need to be harangued and kind of chopped at and gotten rid of before we can finish off our other projects. But first and foremost, just one thing at a time. We'll call this a stockpile zone. And for right now, I'm going to leave everything enabled inside of there so that once they start carting things around, this is going to be a medical bed. Uh, Teddy, I want you to unassign your bed right there. We will set owner unassigned. He was a pimp, was he? Okay, apparently Teddy was a pimp. Teddy was a pimp! Uh, unfortunately, Teddy is also our doctor, so somebody else is going to have to work on him since he can't self-operate. Uh, that's a bummer, because that means we're going to be wasting medical supplies from people who are not altogether very good at this. But, his major asthma has been treated, as far as I know. Uh, it looks like his efficiency, his part efficiency, he will need tending in a week. And so it's only once a week that he's going to need medical help. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to get Heal Root up and running. Just so we can get, like, some random little bits and pieces here to make his life easier. Uh, everybody's doing their mood boost right now, which is great. Mood boost by Splatter, I don't know, Splattercat Industries. Nerdcastle Industries. Ooh, that sounds good. There we go. Mood Boost by Splat Industries. I like it. That'll work out for right now. Uh, they do have a lot of jobs in front of them that need to get done that unfortunately are going to take a little while. As far as organizing our storage goes, I'm going to take care of that. Looks mostly good to me. I don't think that's going to need any adjustment right there. I think that should work out perfectly fine. The nice thing is we do have people that should be able to, like, kill things off at the moment. It's actually kind of cold outside. It's April, May. And so that's going to be the local season of spring. Luckily, it's a little bit of a bummer right here. Is he already harvesting heel root? Why is there herbal medicine already popping out? That can't be right. So we need defenses. Yeah, I guarantee we're going to need that. Herbal stuff is inside. We'll get that in and out of the rain. I am going to diversify this in just a moment. So what I'll do in order to do that is we'll take a stockpile zone. And we're going to put a stockpile zone back behind this place. That's just going to be for raw materials. I like to keep these things all nice, and so what we'll have here is raw resources won't go inside of here. Uh, everything else, I'm sorry, everything but raw resources will go inside of here. So we'll get rid of that. Uh, items, weapons, apparel. That'll go inside of there, except for plant matter. We'll keep plant matter checked off the list. And then with this one right here, what we'll do is we will take uh, all of this stuff off, except for plant matter. So there we go. And so that should be our first little storage solution, keep people nice and happy. We are going to need a food supply. We've already got mega sloths in the area, which is kind of an interesting thing. Aside from that, we're going to need some more structures. So let's keep on building, building, building. And so I'll put in another building over here. In addition, I will probably think about putting in some smaller domiciles down in this area. Kind of a loop back, as it were. So we'll go like with a little 6x6 six six right there. Or a 6x5. That works for me. There we go. We'll throw in a couple of doors. And these are going to be like our first housing residences, or residences essentially. 
We'll throw in some... Uh, refugee is chased at the colony. A machine collector named Jennifer Richmond calls from nearby. She's being chased. I will offer her safety. I don't know what she's good at. But as far as she's concerned, she got a bad back. Her character is pretty good at intellectual and crafting, which is what we need in the group. So it looks like she's going to be a reasonable helper for our colony. In addition, we're going to put in our flooring, which is what I was trying to do before we were so meanly attacked. So there we go. Our flooring will go in. I need another door over here, too. So if I can go to my structures menu and click on doors, we'll throw in a door right there. Uh, we are going to have to fight off her assailants. It looks like it's just one guy named Steven with a Luciferium addiction. Steven Wilcox, he appears to be good at a lot of stuff, but with the Luciferium addiction, unfortunately, that's going to be difficult. He's got a Jade Shiv. That'll be worth a little bit of money, too. So you guys over here, uh, my shooters, get over here on the opposite side of the lake, and when he tries to come around, go ahead and give him some bucka. Uh, Sonny, do you not have a gun? Who's got a gun? Oh, shit. You guys fall back. Fall back. Teddy, you come back over here. Stay out of the line of fire, please. Oh, Chance, I'm sorry. You guys messed up. That's no good. Go ahead and fire at him. We can, we've got medical people here, so we should be able to help out with this. If we have no friendly fire, we should be all right. Good. And so now we got a dead guy laying on the ground. I will have to set up the work for other people. With the Luciferium, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that put inside the stockpile, and then I'm going to make it so that they're not allowed to have that. Uh, Sonny, go pick up that knife, please. Uh, we will capture him. We need a prisoner marked bed, though, first. So as soon as that's done, we'll have Richmond go to bed. And I am going to try and actually, no, he's got a Luciferium addiction. Go ahead and uh, strip him. And then don't capture him. Let him die, though. Let him die. We don't want him to be all up in our business. You go over there and rest until healed so that one of our doctors will come and see you. It's always nice to snag free colonists nice and early in the game. Uh, it's something that I would highly recommend. Uh, people like Jennifer that you can get fairly easily uh, without any cost to yourself. They tend to be a good pull early in the game because you probably won't have to fight too many people in order to get them. Oh, good. She's a passable doctor, too. Fantastic. She's level 5, which makes her not amazingly good, but it makes her good enough. She's also pretty good at wardening. I'll have her do my research. As far as crafting goes, she'll do that. All in all, though, she will probably end up being someone who... Is she good at shooting? Let me have a look at her. Where is she at? Jenny, what are you doing right now? As far as her skills go, no, she's not good at combat, so we'll want to keep her up and out of the way on that. But she is a second doctor, which is great, because that feels that fills in a very tangible weakness in our colony that we would have to deal with. We've also got a psychic drone coming through. That's a bit of a bummer. It's kind of early in the game for that. She's going to act as our heal bot, or I'm sorry, as our clean bot, though. She's going to go through and kind of clean things up. We've got a mad animal over here that's gone batshit nutty. I don't know where it's at, but I suppose we'll deal with that when we got to deal with that. Yeah, just melee attack the squirrel. You gotta do what you gotta do over here, I suppose. He'll knock it out before too long. Uh, don't rescue the squirrel, murder the squirrel. Yeah, go ahead and kill the thing. Might as well finish him off. And then he's gonna have to go to the medical bed. We got a dead guy over there, and that means that I should probably go to my miscellaneous menu. And we'll start digging a whole bunch of mat. We'll dig like a mass grave over here for our enemies and just so people can be buried and it also gives them a joy outlet they can go over there and like contemplate on the meaning of life and death every now and again makes things a tiny bit easier on you uh, apparently they got into a fight because one of them was insulted that's a bummer and not something that I wanted to deal with right now but we do have abrasive people in our group so they're probably going to struggle for the next little bit before they're going to be able to get anything done uh, with you I'm not going to forbid you Instead, what I'd like to see is for Teddy or somebody else to prioritize... Oh, she's not assigned to constructing. That's okay. She'll act as a hauler for right now. I just don't want people walking around. He's been bandaged. Uh, he's got a bruise, so he'll be all right. We are going through medical supplies pretty quickly with our current loadout. She's sleeping on the ground outside. Her health. She's got bruises and whatnot. She's also got a cracked rib. That's a hell of a fight right there. If they were throwing down like that, they were really trying to get at each other. I don't really know what else to say about that one. That was, they really went at each other. It's the psychic drone. It's going to make everybody a little bit more irritable. 
Uh, you're not assigned to constructing, so until I have somebody awake who's assigned to constructing and can build those graves, we are going to be dealing with the fact that we've got a dead body sitting right here too, which is going to actually really fuck with our moods quite a bit. It'll be alright. Sunny, go ahead and prioritize working on graves. As soon as that's done, go ahead and bury that guy so we ain't got to look at him anymore. Perfect. All nice and done. There's some work left to be done, but we'll work on it slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. And then we'll reinstall these beds over here. So we've got a major break risk. What do you want your faction to be called? Well, we will be called, oh, I don't know, the 17th. Avengers, because we're in Alpha 17. There we go. The 17th Avengers, and then I don't really know what we're going to call this place. We'll call it the Colony of Booty Fruit. There we go. So it's the Colony of Booty Fruit. I like good naming conventions like that. We will reinstall this bed down here. We will also reinstall this bed right here. Cargo pods have dropped, so Randy Random is deciding... Oh, it's a bunch of milk. Randy Random is deciding to be kind to us at the moment, so that'll work out okay. We are going through our medical supplies pretty rapidly, and considering we've got a consistently sick individual as a part of our colony, we'll have to watch out for that long term. I'm going to set up some refrigeration inside of this one for all of our food and whatnot so that we can start preparing meals for ourselves. And in fact, production is going to be over here. We're going to call this a fueled stove on that side and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call this a stockpile zone for food and so we'll go in like so everything is going to be out here right now uh, so we'll go ahead and we will leave that for foods but everything else done gotta go and then with the corpses we'll call this animal corpses down up in here so we can chop those up in addition I would probably put a butchery bench around here somewhere we've got a butcher's table yeah, give me a butcher's table, and we'll throw that right there. It'll be less efficient, but frankly, we're not going to be butchering that many things anyway, so I'm not going to stress about it. Other than that, we'll probably want to work on our power solutions over the course of the next couple minutes. I know I'm playing kind of rapid fire right now, but when it comes to RimWorld, you've got to assume that everybody's seen most of the stuff the game has to offer at this point. They finished off a lot of their menial tasks, so we should be back up and running. Uh, with the major break risk right now, Jennifer's not feeling too well. Yeah. Oh, she and Teddy got into a fight. So it's like an abusive relationship. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I know how I feel about it. But if Jennifer's not feeling so great right now, ah, uh, that might be why. Okay, let's give her a little bit of extra joy time, and I'll reset that a tad later. Give her an opportunity to get out of the house, though, and not have a mental break. She'll do a little bit of hauling, she'll be a little bit healed, and so she should go back down an item stash opportunity. Marjo, Prime Counselor of the Concord of Eranor, has sent us a message. That sounds like some Tolkien-esque shit. Of the Council of Eranor, they came to talk with Elrond the Wise. Uh, they've learned of a collection of valuable items that have been for the taking not far from us. Fortunately, it won't last. So where is the location? It's right there, and we're, like, way down here. I think I would have to set up a caravan in order to do that, and I don't know exactly how to do that. I don't know. That's a new event that I've never seen before, and I'm not entirely sure how we capitalize on that. But, we'll try it out a little bit later. Uh, we'll call this, like, a little room right here. A little room right here. We do need a jail as well, so I'll probably do one of those pretty soon, too. Basically, I'm trying to circle the wagons right now just with a bunch of buildings. We don't necessarily have to occupy them or do anything with them for right now. But I would like to get them constructed so that as we expand and we get more people, we have an easy peasy time providing for them. So whether it's jail cells or anything else. A chunk of spacecraft has fallen and landed nearby. Actually, that's really close. Go ahead and deconstruct that when you get the opportunity. If we can feed our animals, that'd be great. Over here on this handbill, we're going to have cook simple meals. And we're going to have them do that until we have, let's say, ooh, that's way too many. We don't need that. Until we have 45 meals sounds pretty good. And then what we'll want to do is we'll want to set up our power solution over here, too. So we don't have, give me two fuel generators. I might use some space in here as a battery housing, or I might just make like a little steel shed back here that has batteries inside of it. For right now, we're not going to concern ourselves too heavily with having like an amazingly redundant power system. But for the moment, you know, I just want to get things moving so that by the end of this episode, we're basically caught up with what we were doing already. In addition, we'll probably want to start thinking about having walls outside of our base. I will deconstruct all of this right here so that we can start out with some stone. If there's any other buildings around that can be easily deconstructed, I would hit up on those as well. 
just because our wall outside doesn't need to be made of like uniform parts or anything like that. She's sleeping indoors, so that'll work out okay. And then tomorrow we'll have some of this stuff. I need to haul that, haul that. We will have, this is gonna be probably our workroom. So what I'll do is I'll put in another stockpile over here. Uh, this will be a dumping stockpile. And it will be primarily for stone. And I think stone is inside of here, so yeah, we'll primarily keep that for just random little bits and pieces here. Uh, food is a little bit low. We should have our first harvest coming up reasonably soon, although perhaps I'm wrong about that. We only have five meals left. So let's get some foraging moving. I think foraging is going to be the way that we're actually going to get through this. And so we're going to harvest what we can. We are in a forest biome, so food should be around. We should be able to get enough berries and whatnot to last out until our first harvest. And so there we go. That looks pretty good to me. In addition, we should be able to put some people on hunting duty. I know I saw some turkeys and things around that we may be able to put some rounds into. So hunt rabbits, hunt turkeys, hunt anything that's around. I mean, we're living in an environment right now that is just simply chock-a-block. There's vittles everywhere. There's food and vittles all over the place. And so there's no reason to walk away from it if we don't have to. Uh, we'll have this do forever on the butchering so that that gets done. Got a couple of rabbits that we've shot now. They're going to put those up inside of there, and then they'll butcher them in just a moment. But hunting is the task of the day. In addition, the act of hunting will make them a little bit better at the shooty-shooty so that as we move along, we should be able to get some of this stuff moving. With five meals left, I'm really hoping somebody goes out to harvest some of the extra stuff we have laying around. Uh, somebody's an ascetic. I forget who's an ascetic, so we'll need to find them, which means their room needs to suck. They actually like it when their room sucks. And so that bed is assigned to Sunny. Good. We want their room to suck. We don't want to put tables and chairs and shit inside of there. We want it to be nice and simple, in essence. Uh, we do have a lot of jobs out here that need to get done. I am going to forbid that Luciferium so that nobody touches it. Perfect. The meals are getting cooked. My hope was not that... Uh, oh, they're going to get the milk that's up in the corner of the map. Okay, also deconstruct that when you get the time. Deconstruct that when you get the time. We'll get a research bench up and running pretty soon too, which I think will help out slightly. Oh, there's heal root inside the forest, so maybe that's what happened. That's how I got that free heal root is because it was... Already inside the forest. Is that going to be a reasonable amount of berries right there? I hope so. That should be a lot of berries. And then we can get some free heal root as well. That'd be great. Cool. I, I definitely feel as though... Do I have anybody that's doing cooking? I think butchery counts as cooking. I have one person, Richmond, who's ready to go. You know what? I'm going to put Jennifer on it. Simply based on the fact that she's mostly idle anyways a lot of the time. And so that'll allow her to free up other people who are having a rougher time. They're getting a couple hours of that. And is the psychic drone still happening? Uh, we still have a bed missing. So let's go ahead and I'm going to bed up right here. There we go. We will reinstall you over here. And that should provide for just about everybody. And then we're also going to build copies in here. This is going to be our prison. And we'll assign those as prison rooms in just a moment. I will put in another workshop, probably in the little backfield area over here, so that uh, we can do a little bit of crafting. God, I love this game. This is one of those games that I am really freaking stoked about. Uh, your food crops won't grow in the winter cold. Yeah, that's just a warning. All right, that's fine. It looks like Sport is bonded with Sunny. Has you, have you gotten any training done so far? No, that's okay. I'm not upset about it. I can live with it. Uh, this turkey is going to go bad very, very soon, so hopefully somebody gets on that. In addition, we'll want to put in temperature controls in here so we can turn this into a makeshift freezer. There we go. It looks like all that work's going to get done today. Our work just ate our bunny right there. That's fine. Our work's doing our thing, raising morale and making life a little bit easier. We'll also want to run some power conduits around. So there we go. Power conduits have been run, and we are cooking up meals so that we no longer have, like, a low food problem. I don't want anybody using luciferium or getting into, like, drug binges or anything like that. We will need to adjust the temperature that this provides by going over to here. We're going to put that down to 32 degrees so that everything is frozen and prepackaged and lasts a lot longer for the winter. We also have further cargo pods, which have dropped. Apparently, this corner is just milky as hell. They're dropping all kinds of milk over there for us. I am all right with it. I think it's going to work out. Our food storage over here. Why is food being stored inside of here? There should not be food being stored inside of here. Uh, we'll get rid of plant matter real fast. Oh, foods are being stored in there. Okay, we'll get rid of those then. 
We don't want raw resources. Plant matter's okay. No, plant matter's not okay. Just items, apparel, and all that kind of stuff. And then we'll have our haulers handle it. Uh, it looks like our meals are coming together. Very nice. Okay, so we've provided for a problem. We've actually managed to duck a little bit of a long-term issue right there, and I think it's going to be all right. Uh, the only problem we got to think about right now is a little bit more hauling and making sure that everything gets done. But other than that, harvesting appears to be going well. I have no complaints at the moment. The more food we can drop off, I'd like to get us up to like 400, 500 berries, and I do think that that's entirely possible. I am going to reassign her work to there because she was going to have a mental break before, but she's not having that problem anymore. So we won't worry about it any further. As far as buildings go that we need, we need to have like another manufacturing area. This right here, working on geothermal is probably a smart idea. Uh, medical beds are inside of here. I'm okay with that. I think I can live with that. Instead, what I'm going to do is let's build a steel structure. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Stop that. There we go. We got a little bit of steel right there that we can make use of. We don't have a lot of steel, mind you, but we have a little bit. Uh, what I'd prefer to do is I'm just going to make like a little steel bunker over here. Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted either. There we go. And we're just going to put in like some, some batteries over here so we can start storing up some of this extra power that we have too. And so this will be just like a little storage room for batteries. In essence, this will use up some componentry, which is a bummer, but three batteries is good. That'll help out. Oh, we'll go ahead and connect those with conduit wires like so. There is a chance of explosions and discharges and things of that nature, but having a couple batteries that can soak the extra charge that you're not utilizing is always something that will be appreciated later on. You never know you need a battery until you need one. There we go. All fixed up on that side. The battery should start to charge very shortly. Uh, food's looking solid. They're going through those berries with a quickness and making sure we got enough meals to last at least a week or two on top of whatever else it is that we have going on. With all this geothermal power around, we are going to have to think about providing for that in the future. But for now, I think more structures are in order. I mean, we've got plenty of wood, so we might as well continue building out of that and using that as our principal material. This is going to be our production center right here. Uh, this is where we're going to have our research benches and everything else. As far as floors are concerned, we're going to do this with wooden floors. We are going to need some more wood after that, though. So I'm going to go ahead and chop all these trees over here and get them up and out of our way now that they've maturated. And this is a great colony. I think we're moving up for Alpha 17. We're looking really good right now. I don't think we have a whole lot of worries unless Randy Random decides to be cruel. My name is Splattercat. I will see you all next time. This is RimWorld Alpha 17. Hi, do everybody, and take care out there. Sorry the last game got nuked. But I'm pretty happy right now with some of the changes they've made in 17. I'm looking forward to trying it out and seeing what's going on. Later, everybody.